welcome to Begin 5 Minutes. My name is Sadat and today I'm going to take you through how to wave and curl your hair with a straightener. Okay, so you're going to need a few things obviously. A comb, a hair clip, a heat protectant spray. I'm using the Evo Icon Welder heat protection spray. And then I have the Icon of Hair Oils, the Goat of Hair Oils, the Kerastase Elixir All Team. This is a must have if you have hair on your head, it's just chef's kiss. And the star of the show, my GHD straightener. This is just the straightener that I've always used because I can straighten and curl and wave and do so many styles, but you can use whatever straightener you have or you're comfortable using. This is just my tried and true ride or die. Okay, so I blow dried it first. I always wear a side part. And so I blow dried it that way, just so that it's easier to then go in and style. First things first, we section off our hair. I just go from bottom to top. This is where your clip comes in. So first I do a comb through. Then I grab my spray. I like to just do it on my hand and disperse it through rather than just spraying, spritzing right onto the hair and it's just got like this one area of spritz or product and it hasn't really distributed through evenly. So I just like to go through with my fingers. So I grab my GHD. Look, this is a lot of trial and error. Sometimes your wrist goes a bit wonky donk and it doesn't feel natural. So I've watched like a thousand curling videos myself and still haven't been able to do it the way they do it. So you'll find your own groove, but this is how I go. So I grab a piece, I wrap it around once and then pull through very slowly. When you see that steam coming out, that's a good thing. It means it's burning the heat protectant rather than burning your hair straight away. And then I don't like to do every curl the same way. I just, I think it looks too polished and contrived. I like to do like one this way and one this way. You can also do two wraps around. I know some people like to do that and pull. It just gives like a bit more of a tighter curl. Now I'm gonna go inward. You can also, some people like to move down as they're going. That also gives you a lot of curls, but I just don't love a really, really curly hairstyle. Okay, there we go. Also, the trick is to go slow because sometimes if you just do this and you're in a rush and you go like that, it doesn't really do anything. Just slide the GHD over your hair and keep it there a little longer. So see how I'm just going really slow to make sure it's really hugging and creating that curl. Also another little tip, if you really want volume in your hair, I would make sure that you go across here, right before your ear, like around your E area. If you want that to create that volume in your hair, it's always good to do like a really tight curl just there and then go back diagonally. Now, sometimes your curls or your waves can come out quite tight. So what I like to do is just let it dry for like two seconds and then I like to brush through. It also depends on how, if you want like more of a loose wave or curl, you can brush through. Or if you wanna keep it polished and tight, don't brush through. <laughs> also, one thing to note is that I have virgin hair in the sense that I've never colored it. So it holds product and curls quite well. And these curls and waves will stay throughout the day. However, if you're someone who has fine hair or colored hair and you just find that the curl doesn't stay, I would actually recommend from the start doing a much tighter curl because they'll end up dropping in a couple of hours. But for me, I can just from the start go in with more of a looser um, wave and curl. So I'll just do a bit there so I don't look too curly Sue at the front. Now the other thing you can do sometimes if you don't want it curling all the way down is sometimes I like to even straighten the ends like this. Now the last step is a beautiful hair oil for a finishing touch. You can use any hair oil you like. I also use this on damp hair 
Before I style, this product has made my hair so much shinier, so much more manageable when styling and really soft. So I just put the tiniest bit just to avoid any greasy looking strands and just work through my hair. Also helps to tame frizz. When I step out in the sun, my hair is going to glisten. Okay, I might even do like a final brush through. And there you have it. That's how I curl and wave my hair with my GHD. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like or comment below and you can watch more of our videos here. See you next time. Oh, try this way. Now, that this way. All right.